Hey everybody, it's Hannah with Vibrant Restorations. Today I am in my shed. It's very warm in here once again. Um, I am working on a mermaid buffet and I'm laying down the first coat, which is mermaid's tail, a very beautiful bright teal color. And I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what I'm working on today. I'm just keeping it well misted very hot so therefore the paint dries really quick taking my brush dipping it in the mermaid's tail and going over my piece now I did prime this prior to painting because it was bleeding through some and I'm hoping that will take care of the problem sometimes it doesn't so we might have to mask that in a more creative way I'm gonna be doing some blending with some other colors, but this top, I want it to be one uniform coat for now. I might change that later on. It just depends on how I feel. I have this really cute little stencil for mermaid scales, and this is, in, this is going in a mermaid-themed home, so I wanted to add some pizzazz. I've got these little scales. They're about an inch in size. I'm going to use my Dixie Mud. This is white, it comes in a couple other colors, but this is just the one I have. And then I have this nifty, soft, um, spongy brush that I'm gonna use to put it on. It's gonna give me raised stenciling. The trick to stencils is to use a Scotch Guard spray, just a adhesive and you wanna spray this and then stick it where you want it so you don't have to worry about it moving on you. Spray. Kinda of give it a little shake. Then bring it over here. Line it up how I want it. Ooh, maybe even sideways like that. And stick it, stick it on like so. That's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna take the Dixie Mud and my little spatula. And it almost looks like that marshmallow um, topping. See? It's real fluffy, easy to use, and I'm going to start on my stencil and just kind of go up and smooth it on. It's not a huge ray stencil. It's just enough to give it interest though. Go along here. with a very light hand because I don't want to take out the mud that I've already put down. Go. And if you see any areas that look like they're just a little bit thin, just go back over it, give it a little bit extra. I personally don't mind if there's a couple little areas on the scales. I think it kind of gives it a more authentic look. So it doesn't have to be completely smooth, at least not for my taste. I, I don't mind it, so. You can sand this Dixie Mud lightly, and I do recommend that because there's gonna be some raised areas just to keep it a little bit more on the smooth side a little light sanding doesn't hurt 
And before you paint it, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of primer on it because apparently paint reactivates the mud and makes it soft again. So if you're painting, you can actually be knocking the mud back off your piece. Our dark Bunker Hill blue, which is real dark, to go along the base and to fade up just a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and mist our mermaid tail. Give it a good little Warm up coat again. Okay, a little spritz, keep it wet. And we're gonna go in with the Bunker Hill Blue. We're just gonna kinda follow that. Take my blender, bring it up. Very light. Get that turquoise out of there. Muddied. Bring the blending brush. Keep it wet.
Overhill Blue. For the scales, I just used some leftover dark purple and light pink chalk paint that I had on hand. I like to shade the dark purple with some of the pink and then also watering it down to a light purple just to give some depth, give some interest, and also make the scales all different colors.